Whenever a fictional universe has some deeply rooted lore to it, I always want to investigate. I'll look at theories that other fans have come up with and often come up with a few myself. Deltarune is one piece of media in particular that invites fan theories, and I have several of my own. None of them are really extensive enough for their own video though, so I decided to combine them all into this one. First of all, the Dark World and individual Dark Worlds. What are they exactly? Individual Dark Worlds, namely the Card Kingdom from Chapter 1 and Cyber World from Chapter 2, seem to be pocket dimensions of sorts that can be accessed through individual entrances to them via the Light World. Denizens of one Dark World are normally unable to manifest in other Dark Worlds safely, with the Castle Town and the School Closet Dark World being a notable exception. The Darkners from the first Dark World manifest in the Light World as various toys and game pieces, which can be transferred to Castle Town by being physically taken through the portal to it. Otherwise, they can't stay in other Dark Worlds apart from their own for very long before turning into statues. It seems that these rules do not apply to Ralsei, however. A possible explanation for this is the fact that he, along with Chris and Susie, is part of the Prophecy of Light, so he must be able to manifest into multiple Dark Worlds in order to fulfill this role. Many fans speculate that he is not an ordinary Darkner, which could also explain why some rules of Dark Worlds don't apply to him. He is, after all, able to recognize game mechanics. He is implied to have some connection to Azrael, indicated by the similarity of their names and appearances. Since chapter 1 and 2 each had their own Dark Worlds, we can infer that future chapters will follow the same format. Chris appears to open a Dark Fountain at the end of chapter 2, so the corresponding Dark World will likely appear in chapter 3 or beyond. Since the first two Dark Worlds originated from locations around hometown, it is possible that some other Dark Worlds will as well. Some possible host locations for them may include the lake, diner, grocery store, cemetery, church, and flower shop, each one with a theme corresponding to that location. The bunker on the edge of town in particular is also speculated to be an entrance to a dark world, and possibly where all of the story events will culminate in the end. Now for some theories about Chris. They appear to be the only human in hometown, but why exactly? Deltarune seems to take place in a world where the war between the humans and monsters from Undertale never happened, as evidenced by the fact that monsters live on the surface and Azrael never died. Hometown could be populated by mainly monsters due to the two species living separately for perhaps cultural reasons. Why Chris is in hometown also brings up the question of how they became part of the Dreamer family. Perhaps their biological human parents abandoned them, either out of neglect or a belief that Chris would be better off raised with monsters rather than humans for whatever reason, or they died at some point. Chris did not seem to initially realize that they were fundamentally different from monsters, as they once asked Toriel when their horns would be growing in. Chris also seems distressed by the idea of other humans, as when they see pictures of humans in the library book about them, they shut the book immediately. The reason for this response could be that they don't like being reminded of the fact that they are the only human in hometown. They could also have a more specific reason to resent or fear other humans, although there is not as clear a reason as to why. I've made a lot of videos for this channel discussing lore questions that we may never actually get an answer to, but in the case of Deltarune, it's just a matter of time until the rest of the chapters are released and more is revealed to us. In the far-off future, when the entire Deltarune saga is complete, it will be fun to look back on videos like this one and see how much we got right ahead of time. So what do you think? Do you agree with my speculations? What are some of your own theories about Deltarune? Let me know in the comments! Thank you for watching this video. I discuss lots of different games and media on this channel, so I'd recommend subscribing if you're into that. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time.